This is the GIS News Hour for Tuesday, 16th April. I am Leslie Ann Johnson Cornwall. In the headlines, government to provide further stimulus to the construction sector. Debt receives largest allocation of 2030 package at $456 million and five major developmental projects to be undertaken to stimulate the economy. Those were the headlines. Details are next. <music> Festival April 26 to 28, 2013. Friday, April 26, Six Roads Cross is the place to be. In the smoke food of your ancestors, drums will speak, sweet strings will captivate. It's a unique festival of the people filled with authentic cultural education and pure entertainment for the whole family. Saturday, April 27th, Bella Heritage Village comes alive with string band music, drumming, dancing from local, regional and international cultural groups. Sunday, April 28th, Paradise Beach is the place to be for this massive life-changing festival. So make your reservations now. Call 1473-443-948 or visit our website www.caricomaroon.com and make sure you come on down to see. Carico Maroon, make sure you come on down to see. This is a juvenile here in North Carolina, the Bible Belt. Are you unemployed and need help or want to further your skill in the world of information technology? Then come to the Center of Excellence and make your pick. We offer a wide range of international at affordable prices from project management, wireless technologies, networking, computer animation, multimedia apps, mobile application, building e-business, advanced diploma in information technology, database technologies, advanced certificate in C++ programming, diploma in MS net programming, cell phone repairs and servicing, and much more. Give us a call today for more information and enrollment. Telephone 439-9254. That's 439-9254. Or visit us GIDC building at Frequente Industrial Park. At the Center of Excellence, we work with you to get you there. Welcome back viewers. The Grenada government will provide further stimulus to the local construction sector by reducing the value added tax on a number of construction items to 5% with effect from May 1, 2013 to December 31, 2014. This was one of the major announcements by Finance Minister Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell during presentation of a $1,102,243,994 fiscal package at the Grenada Trade Center on Tuesday. He also made mention of the fact that they have begun but have not yet completed a review of the VAT system. Details from Abigail McIntyre. Plans for stimulating the construction sector was outlined during Tuesday's presentation of the 2013 Estimates of Revenue and Expenditure. It was delivered by Prime Minister and Minister for Finance, Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell. He announced that government will reduce VAT to 5% on sand, cement, roofing materials, steel, lumber, and construction. This will take effect from May 1, 2013 to December 31, 2014. Further, Mr. Speaker, government will forgo VAT on construction services for projects valued at less than $400,000 over the same period. There's been a school of thought recently, Mr. Speaker, which says anytime you want money, just increase taxes. That is foolhardy. If it, the taxes reach a certain threshold, 
what will happen? You just get less and less revenue. This government has a complete different philosophy. Mr. Speaker, on the matter of high price of sand, this administration is engaged in efforts to reduce its costs from approximately $120 for a load to no less, to no more, sorry, than $60 per load. A 50% reduction in attempt to drive down the cost of construction and encourage home ownership more in the country. Dr. Mitchell says the aim is to deliver meaningful reduction in the cost of construction and to stimulate construction employment and economic activity. To achieve this objective, Mr. Speaker, greater efficiency will be required throughout the regulatory systems. In this regard, government will modernize the physical planning division to ensure efficient and timely approval of physical development plans essential for the revival of the construction sector. Physical planning, you're not a law into yourself. The people want work, they want activity, but the physical planning will act accordingly. Mr. Speaker, our several consultation across the major stakeholder groups urge support by the commercial banking sector and credit unions. In a free market system such as ours, the action of governments as a financial institution is limited largely to moral suasion. We therefore call on the banks to assist us in making this construction stimulus package a success by doing whatever it can to offer facilities which encourages new mortgages. As it concerns the Greater VAT regime, Prime Minister Mitchell says a review of the system has begun. One of the concerns raised by the private sector was that the current regime discriminates against local purchases such that when a concession is granted and the VAT is waived on imports, they cannot use that concession to get a VAT waiver on the same item if purchased locally. Dr. Mitchell says this will be addressed. Our government has heard the louds of the private sector on this vexing issue and has agreed that it would be the best for economic activity and growth if government allows VAT concessions to be enjoyed equally when the product is sourced locally compared to when it is imported. Accordingly, we will soon pass the necessary amendments to the VAT Act. In the same light, it was involuntary registration for VAT by small businesses will take effect from January 2014. Mindful of the concerns raised by the private sector about voluntary registration, government will mandate the Inland Revenue Department to develop guidelines and the necessary regulations to give effect to voluntary registration for VAT by small businesses from January 2014. Government would also aim, sorry, amend, sorry, act to exempt construction services associated with repairs and expansion to residential accommodation. Abigail McIntyre for the GIS NewsHour. Dr. Mitchell said they will return in December to present the 2014 budget. The largest allocation in the 2013 fiscal package went to debt. At $456 million, it represents more than 41% of total expenditure. Our second report from Abitai looks at the biggest allocations as well as the fiscal performance of the government in 2012. Tuesday's presentation of revenue and expenditure set the tone for the future development of Grenada, Caracou and Pity Martinique. It was delivered under the theme, Restoring Hope, Building the New Economy and Empowering Our People. Only being elected on February 19th and being sworn in on March 3rd, government had seven weeks of the package. Now, with a clear vision for the future of the country under the new economy, government foresees a projected growth of the economy of 1.2%, with activity picking up pace over the medium term and increasing much faster over the long term. 
In order to make these dreams reality, Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell stated that the 2013 estimates of revenue and expenditure will amount to one billion one hundred and two million two hundred and forty three thousand hundred and ninety four dollars. He spoke of the five largest areas of allocations this year. One debt. $456 million, 41.4% of the total expenditure. The Ministry of Education and Resources, and we are proud to say, is 110.6%, sorry, $110.6 million, which is 10% of total expenditure. The Ministry of Works is $72.6 million, 6.6 6 of total expenditure. That's where a lot of the jobs will have to come. The Ministry of Finance and Energy, $69.9 million, 6.4% of total expenditure. The Ministry of Health is $62.6 million, 5.7% of total expenditure. We have no choice. The wealth, the health of our people, is always known as the wealth of our nation cannot continue the lack of basic medication while we travel around and enjoy all the niceness of the system. Say more about that later, Mr. Speaker. A major challenge for the government, Mr. Speaker, is how we manage the payroll going forward, which now accounts for close to 65% of current expenditure when we include pensions and gratuities. In this regard, our government has already begun to engage the Trade Union Council on the shared vices required at this time. Dr. Mitchell summarized the overall budget. Current revenues for 2013 are projected at $448.2 million, approximately 3.6% and current receipts in 2012. The government anticipates, Mr. Speaker, a recurrent surplus 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 of 32.9 million dollars and that will be used mr speaker as counterpart fi financing for some of the key capital projects total expenditure for 2013 is projected to be capital expenditure sorry at 262.4 million dollars of this amount 112.9 million dollars would be from local sources, 66.5 million from grant sources, and 82.9 million dollars from loan sources. The Indian leader outlined the fiscal performance of the state over the last year, which painted a grim picture of the situation of the country. According to him, current expenditures exceeded current revenues by $7.9 million on a monthly basis. With high monthly payroll, TAM CC and Board of Tourism of $28 million and mounting debt service obligations. On the back of a shrinking economy, revenues perform below expectation. Fallen short of target by some $26.5 million. Total revenue collect collections amounted to $432.8 million. Collections from inland revenue amounted to $210.1 million, while the Customs and Excise Department collected $203 million. At the time of the 2012 budget presentation, significantly, Mr. Speaker, there was a financing gap of $156.5 million. And we were told we ought not to know this is my business. I will tell you in a few months. It's my little personal account. This gap, Mr. Speaker, despite the promises, was never closed. As the sources of financing identified never materialized. And no apologies came in. Consequently, Mr. Speaker, government resorted to raising $95.5 million from the national and the issuance of treasury bills. Reflecting the combined impact of low revenues, grants, and financing, the implementation of the 2012 budget was severely hampered, to say the least.
Added to that, current expenditure amounted 